why does the sun have to come out just as I start filming? Literally, the sun has been behind clouds all day. And then as soon as I start to film, it just comes out and like, ruins my lighting. Hi guys, so excuse the lighting and the sun and everything. But in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of the worst rated makeup. And I know that another YouTuber has done this before. I think it was Rach Loves. Um, she's done the worst rated makeup from Sephora, like testing out the products that have the least amount of like, good reviews, like the products that have the worst reviews basically, um, and I know that she's also done a drugstore audition, but um, I wanted to do this video because a lot of you guys asked if I could do it, but on the Superdrug website there's no option to kind of filter results by um, the ratings. They do have reviews on some of the products, but there was no way to like filter it, so it was really hard because they have thousands of products on the website to look through them all. So what somebody gave me the idea of on Twitter is that I ask you guys what your worst rated products are, so this video is basically like testing my subscribers worst rated makeup so all of the makeup that you guys hate I then went and spent all my money on and um, I'm gonna test in this video and see if it's any good um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing so thank you guys so much for your suggestions on Twitter if you want to be involved um, like next time or something like this then make sure you follow me my at is just so does nails the same as here um, so yeah let's let's just do this let's see how it goes okay so i'm gonna go on my twitter and like read the things that you guys were saying because honestly some of them were absolutely hilarious and i do also want to say at the beginning of this video no shade at all to any of the brands that i'm mentioning in this um i love all of these brands but it's just particular products that well i haven't tried them yet but you guys said that you didn't get along with so that's just what i'm going by the main foundation and concealer that i had um when i asked you guys what's the worst makeup you've ever tried I had like an overwhelming response of the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation and concealer. A lot of people were saying it was really orange and really glittery and they just really didn't like it. So I had a bunch of people saying that. Is from Virtue Yuri. Yuri says, uh, she says, Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer is too glittery for my liking and the coverage isn't that great. And then Perks of Paula underscore said, wow, I agree though, it's not that great coverage. Mia Makeup or Maya Makeup said, Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and foundation. Sarah from Absolutely SX said, Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. And then Maddie said yes I agree <laughs> and then she replied saying absolutely awful it's Chloe XOX also said Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer comes out very orange and too glittery and same with Layla Wood so I went out and bought the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation in the shade Light Porcelain which I think is the palest shade and then I got the concealer in the shade Ivory. There was one called um, True Ivory or something but I'm pretty sure that one was darker so I went for Ivory. So Chloe Batsford said Superdrug own, own brand blending sponges. She said it was the B Makeup one so that's what I went out and bought and I think this was like $3.99 or something. And then Francesca replied the B sponges are awful aren't they? Felt like I was pressing a rock against my face so... Let's give this a go. So it did actually expand quite a lot and it does feel quite squishy. Hmm, I like the smell of it. Okay, and then I'm taking the B blending sponge. I'm not sure how like much coverage this is supposed to have. It just says skin brightening foundation. It's very sheer at the moment. It basically just looks like I've put like a tinted moisturiser on my face. It's very, very light coverage. I feel like the sponge is picking up quite a lot of product, like absorbing quite a lot. Like if you compare this sponge to the Real Techniques one or the Beauty Blender, like it is pretty hard. I mean that blended nicely. It's given me a little bit, it's evened my skin tone out a bit. By the way, if this side of my face looks like it's got more coverage, it's because the light is coming in from the window. I normally film at night time, but because I'm pre-filming so many, like I don't have time to just film all at night time. I'm having to film like all day every day, so. I don't actually think that's too bad. Like if you want something that's literally just gonna give you a light wash of coverage, then I don't know, this might be okay. By the way, I know that there are some people that do like these products. If some of these products are your favourites, please don't be offended. I'm gonna blend out one side with the sponge and the other side with my finger. Okay, let's do this one with my finger to see if it gives any better coverage. Yeah, oh my god, this is so orange. I feel like it got a bit more coverage when using my finger because I think the sponge is like absorbing some of the product. I see what they mean about it not having much coverage. I know it's made to brighten your under eyes, but I feel like it... I mean, it's brought some light to them, but I, you can still see like my dark circles. I do like how natural it looks. Like if you want something that's quite like fresh for the summer or if you're going to school or something and you don't want like too full on coverage, then it does look pretty natural. I'm just gonna give you guys a close up. So let's try and block the light from this side so you guys can see it a bit more evenly. 
Um, yeah, this is what it looks like close up. You can still see like some of the darkness under my eyes. My skin looks quite healthy, which is what I do like, but yeah, you can see it really didn't cover like any of the redness around my nose. I feel like I've definitely had worse foundations. Oh my nods, Mia. Hey Mia. She says, collection loose powder. Um, and then somebody said, I love the collection loose powder. Is it too orange on you? And she said, yeah, it oxidizes so much. And then Maisie replied, it oxidizes so bad. I have it as well. Like I can't even put it on slightly without looking ridiculous. And then Mia replied, makes me look like Jake from the tweenies. And if you don't know who Jake from the tweenies is, tweenies is, he's this guy. And um, he's orange, so. I actually used to have this. I've tried it before in my testing collection makeup video, I'm pretty sure. But then because it was too dark for me, I sold it on Depop. And then I re it again, just for this video, just for you guys. I hate these. Okay. Okay. All over my navy blue trousers. This is supposed to be translucent, but even just like looking at it, I can tell that it's gonna be way too dark. I feel like that has instantly made my under eyes look darker. Like if you compare the bottom half of my face to the top half of my face, you can tell that that's definitely made my face more orange. People are saying that it oxidizes, so we're just gonna see how things go. It definitely did like mattify my face nicely. I feel like it also added like a tiny bit of coverage. But if you did have like, you know, medium skin tone, I think that this would be fab. But M's Morphe says, I would say the NYX brow pomade literally made big gaps in my brows. Um, and then she said, I tried to fill my brows and it all clumped together and left big gaps. And then Aliyah or Aaliyah Lauren said, the NYX brow pomade got no coverage to fill in the brow in areas where there is no hair as it's so thin and the colour selection is crap. Katie Luscious Sug said, NYX brow pomade in blonde is green on me. So I have tested this before, but I used it in combination with something else. Um, so I'm gonna give it a go again. Brow gel pot thing in blonde. You know what? I actually quite like this. It definitely is a more sheer coverage than like the Anastasia brow pomades and stuff. But in a way, I kind of like that because sometimes having like light brows, it's quite difficult to get that kind of gradient effect. Whereas because this is quite sheer, you can apply just a little bit at the front. I actually quite like this. Moonlight Sug EV said the W7 Trio, cheeky trio, no pigment in anything. Um, and then Sab's beauty blog said so true no pigment at all. Somebody else literally just sent me a screenshot like of the cheeky trio Sophie Yeomans said cheeky trio W7. I went and bought it on Amazon because obviously you can't get it in Superdrug This is what it looks like. It comes in a tin. I think that for what it is they could have put it in like smaller packaging I just feel like the packaging is quite bulky, but this was like a fiver or something. It comes with a bronzer a um, Blush and a highlighter. The bronzer looks like a highlighter though is this one it looks really shimmery and very, very pale, so... Okay, let's... Try that again. Can you see that? It's literally a highlighter. So I'm pale, and this is not showing up on me. That's an issue. It's literally just highlighting my contour area. Can you see this? And I am really digging my brush in here. It is just highlighting my forehead. Can you see this? I look at my forehead, I look like a tin man. And then I'm gonna try the blush, which unusually is matte. Why did they not like switch them around? So the blush is so bright. I dipped my brush in there the tiniest bit and it's come off so strong. Okay, so there's the blush. The blush isn't too bad, it's just extremely pigmented. And then my favorite part is the highlighter. Let's see what this is like. Okay, the highlight is pretty nice. It doesn't pick up on texture or anything. It's just like a nice wash of like sheen to your face. That is pretty nice for a highlighter, I have to say. Okay, so overall, I would not recommend the palette because one, I think the only thing that's worth buying is probably the highlighter and it's way too chunky to buy the whole thing just for the highlighter. Really Nolan, Izzy said literally every W7 eyeshadow palette, the colors just don't show up. And then Shannon Greg replied, and they blend into a muddy mess. And then I also had a couple of people recommending other various W7 eyeshadow palettes. Um, but I did have one, which I don't think I've actually used before. So this is the Smokin' Shades eye color palette from W7. There's only three, no, four matte colors in here, and then the rest are like shimmery. And these are so dark. And I'm gonna start with this um, kind of transition shade. I honestly can't remember if I've used this in my channel before. It clearly wasn't that memorable because I can't remember if I have or not. This is the 
really dark brown colour. Um, and I'm also just going to run that through my crease. Yeah, that's not really... That dark brown colour is what I was expecting the colour before it to show up as. Like, it's just not very pigmented. And I'm like really dipping my brush in there. Okay, I've really dipped my brush in there this time. Let's see. Yeah, no, see, this is the issue that I've had with all my W7 palettes. And of course, like, I have nothing against drugstore eyeshadows. Um, because I have some really good drugstore eyeshadows, but I feel like these just don't show up as dark as they are on the pan. I mean, it looks fine at the moment, like, there's some colour there, but it's just not as dark as, you know, I was expecting it to be, but... The next colour, which is like a grey brown. Okay, so this one's showed up a little bit better. It's just like a dark grey colour. I think I'm going to take a more flat brush, and I'm going to take the purple, which is this one here. I'm really not a fan of this palette. Colours are just so awkward to work with, like... And these dark ones are really quite patchy, like, I don't know if you can see that. They just don't blend nicely. Come on, blend out a bit. The kind of, I don't know, I guess like this light grey colour. And let's see how this one applies. Okay, so this one has a lot of chunky, like, silver glitters in it. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of these. I'm just going to show you guys close up. Can you see they have, like, really chunky glitters in them? I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try the very lightest kind of shimmery taupe shade, just because I want to bring a bit more life to the centre of my eyelid. Okay, so on my lower lash line, I'm going to take the kind of purple colour that I used on my lid. So, here's the close-up so far. Not blendable. Okay, so Amber underscore Pim says benefit there will push up liner. Um, Sophie Baker says benefit push up liner. Oh my god, that thing makes me furiously angry. It's impossible to use. And then Jodie Lloyd also said benefit push up liner. And I have a mini one of these, but I've never tried it. So I am going to give this a go today. It's such a weird looking thing. Like it's got some kind of pointed plastic silicone applicator. And then the liner like comes up through the middle of it, like you have to twist it and then you use this weird like silicone tip to apply it. Okay, literally not coming out at all. A little bit is coming out of the thing. What the hell? So I tried it on a piece of paper and it's working, but on my eyes it just won't like come off. Okay, there we go, there's a bit. Oh my god, this is awful. It's all just like coming out in clumps. I don't know if mine is dried up or whatever, but oh my. I literally can't get it to come out. Okay, so there's a lot of things my benefit that I love, but this is just not for me. Nope. I should not have attempted a wing. Oh. Nope. That was honestly one of the most difficult wings I've ever done in my life. You just have to drag it so hard. And it keeps like, lumps keep coming out the sides of it. And I keep having to wipe it off on this piece of paper. Okay then for mascara, I got a couple of people saying the rim will shake it up mascara. So Abby underscore Cork says the rim will shake it up or whatever it's called mascara does nothing. And I do have that mascara already. I've tried it once, but I'm willing to give it another try. So the idea of this is you shake it. This mascara, when I tried it the first time, just did nothing. Yeah, I think the issue is the mascara is way too wet, so it just doesn't stick. Just tints your lashes black, like it doesn't give them any length of volume. Right, so I've now done three coats and it's just not really building at all. Oh, and it's transferred. Oh my god. Louise Marie said, the sleek matte me lip gloss, worst lip product ever. And then M underscore Furthies replied, they're horrendous. And then makeup by Myriad said, dry down like concrete on your lips. Oh, and I also saw somebody else uh, say that the sleek matte me in the shade Vinto Tinto is like, not great. So I have this one and I can't remember the last time I used these. I used to like the sleek uh, lipsticks when they came out, but now I think, oh, it tickles. Now I think they're just too dry. I didn't even intentionally apply this badly. I think I'm just a bit shaky because I haven't had any lunch yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of these lipsticks. This one is a little bit patchy. I mean, it looks okay, but it's also very, very dry. Like, it feels, it feels very dry on the lips. Okay, so the final thing, which I had so many people to even read out, 
like suggesting that I use is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Everyone that tweeted me about this said that it left white splotches all over their face. So I'm just going to give it a shake. Oh! It literally comes out in like blobs, like all my mascara has just smudged. It's a very like violent spray, like like it literally, it all sprays in one place and actually like soaks you. It's not like a fine mist, it's like a psh. I don't think it's left white splodges on my face. I, I, I mean, I did shake it quite well. I actually probably think this is the worst makeup I've done, like in a long time. Um, yeah. So this is the finished look. Um, yeah, really not my favorite. Thank you guys very much for your recommendations of the worst rated makeup. Um, it's not looking great. I'm gonna actually give you guys a close up. I feel like the eyes just look awful. You guys know what my lashes are like and you can barely even see them on this side. And also they completely smudged everywhere under my eyes just cause I think it was too wet. Um, the highlighter was good, the brow pencil was good, the foundation and concealer were okay, but they're just really low coverage. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, um, I hope you found it somewhat entertaining, it just didn't work for me. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe by pressing the little button down below. Also, make sure you turn on my notifications so that whenever I upload, you get notified. I mean, not that you'll probably want to after this video, but um, yeah, that would be great. So I hope you're all well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!